Hi, I'm Lara. I'm Jared. And I'm Zach. We're all sophomores in high school and we're introducing you to Driving, a new lane of driving education. Driving. All three of us are teenagers learning to drive, just like teenagers all across America. In 2016, an average of nine teenagers a day were killed in motor vehicle crashes. We hear about these tragedies, but we never think they could happen to people like us until they do. Just last spring, five teenagers from the Friends School of Baltimore, Jared's neighbor, were driving when they crashed. These kids weren't drunk, they weren't driving reckless, they just crashed. Luckily, none of the boys were killed, but two of them severed, suffered severe injuries, and all five had to go to the hospital to get checked out. The realness of these tragedies are horrifying. Join driving and help us take the next step to preventing them. The reality of these, or the root of these crashes are that these drivers are not experienced. So, a, um, a Maya, a 16 year old from Ellings Mills, who had just recently got her learner's permit, when we interviewed, she said that when she was in driver's ed, she didn't really learn much about actually being behind the wheel. And she was very scared when she first got behind the wheel. So what if there was a way to give these rookie drivers experience before they even got on the road? Pikuach Nefesh is a highly valued Jewish belief. It is a value that we strongly believe in. As teens learning to drive, we share the same unsure feeling as our market. We want to literally save a life, which is what it means, um, by providing them with a VR simulation to help prepare them for going on the roads. Our company is a virtual reality driving simulator. We want to provide a fully immersive, behind the wheel experience for teens before they actually get onto the road for the first time. Back when we started our entrepreneurial journey, our first goal was to sell this simulation directly to driving schools. Now, through interviews with these driving schools, we learned that this wasn't possible because they all followed the same curriculum from the MBA, and it just didn't allow them to do it. So, we had to pivot, and we decided that we we're going to sell directly to the new drivers and their families. Along with this, we learned that it would actually be better for our company because there's a much bigger market and a much better chance for our startup to succeed. Our current idea follows the same issue of teens learning to drive. The main mission of driving is that teens should never feel uncomfortable and unsure while, while they're behind the wheel. We are helping by creating a VR simulation to give them practice and help on the roads. This is very beneficial because it introduces them and gives them comfort in their driving. Our target market is the 12.5 million teens between ages 15 to 17 in the United States. One beneficial aspect of our market is that every single year there's a whole new pool of drivers and potential drivers who are learning who want to learn the skills that we can help them practice using our simulation. This gives us a continual market and helps our company thrive. Our actual product is a simulation built by a software designer that is going to go on a virtual reality uh, system, such as the Oculus Go, which was our main uh, system that we're looking at. So with this, they'll have the system and they'll have a little like controller type thing that'll act like the wheel. They'll see a wheel when they look through the goggles. And with this, they'll have different levels of driving. So you can have driving on highways, driving on back roads, driving on city roads, and you can have parking, parallel parking, uh, pulling into spaces, reverse parking. So anything that you can think of with driving to help them actually be more comfortable when they first get on the road. Before we started our entrepreneurial journey, we had to make a few key assumptions. Two of our largest assumptions was that one, teens would actually be interested in our product, and two, our product would actually benefit teens before they get behind the wheel. In order to validate these assumptions, we had to interview who we're making the product for, the actual new drivers and their families. So, throughout lots of interviews we've made since August, we, we found out that 90% of the people we interviewed were interested in our product. So with this, we think that it would be a perfect business just because not only are lots of teens around America learning to drive, we're learning to drive, and your kids are learning to drive. So it's, it's a good scenario. Our business model has many crucial aspects to help our company. Our key partnerships are the partnerships with hardware companies to provide us with the VR software that we need and developers to create the game. The cost structure goes towards paying these from paying developers and paying off the hardware loans. The key activities that we need are to constantly problem solve as driving technology evolves to help be in our market. And lastly, our customer relationships are personal as we create a relationship with our customer to help them feel comfortable and successful in their driving. Our company wants to focus on solely the software aspect of our business and not the hardware, like the actual virtual reality system. 
So ideally, we want to partner with a virtual reality renting company, which there are a lot of, so that they can deal with um, renting out the hardware and the consoles, and we only have to deal with the simulation and the software. Unfortunately, we reached out to multiple companies like this based here in Baltimore, and none of them have responded to us yet. But if we can get one of these partnerships, then we will offer two package deals. The first deal will be um, the simulation along with the console, which will be for $100 a month. The second package will be just the simulation. This is geared towards consumers who already have a console, and this will be $75 a month. But the package with the console, which is $100 a month, we will give 25% of the profits to the company that we partner with, ideally. So that would leave us with $75 a month for both um, packages. If, hypothetically, we gain 250 subscribers in our first year, and then each year that number increases fourfold, so the next year we would have 1,000 subscribers, then 4,000, and so on. By year five, we would hypothetically have 64,000 subscribers. If each of those subscribers rents our, um, our um, product for an average of three months each, with us making $75 a month per month, with us making $75 a month per quarter, then that would put us our company at $14.4 million. This is where we need your guys' help. We're asking for $150,000 in exchange for 20% of our company, which values our company, according to our calculations, at $800,000. And all this money that we're getting from the investors is gonna to go to the employees when our company grows and to the software designers that are gonna help actually build our simulation. So why invest in us? What validation do we have? So far, we have a following of over, of over 400 followers on Instagram, and we have a website where people can fill out applications for either of our two packages, and we already have, if they're interested, and we already have seven applications filled out by teens and their parents. Remember, when you invest in Thriving, not only are you choosing to be part of a great company, but you're also investing in the future of your children and of driving education. Thank you.